Hello again, this is the Watering Man. This is a spiritual toolbox shorter on, uh, and I'll be dealing with words that are mainly in uh, John chapter 4, verse 20. Okay, now the word I'm going to deal with right now is the word they translate as this, number 5129. Okay, let's start out reading in the King James language, John chapter 4, verse 20. It says, Our fathers worshipped in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Okay? Now we're doing on this, the word, right before that they translate as this, right before mountain, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to have the interlinear Bible pronounce that word for you. Make sure it's turned up so you can hear. Okay, it's T O U T O. I've covered this before, but I'm covering it now to show you, okay? Here it goes. Strong's G, 5129, Tuto. Tuto. Deus lexicon. Hutos. Haute. Tuta. Hutos. Haute. Tuta. <coughs> Sorry, I got drainings and stuff coming out. <coughs> <coughs> not, I'm not letting that stop me. Shut up, you old dog. Inside me, right? <laughs> I won't put up with that crap. <laughs> See, when you pray to God, you communicate to God. I'm saying to God, just like electric flows through, like through conduit, like through wires, electric wires, hmm? and does the job of like going across to a, a big resistor, like a baseboard heater to, to heat your house up with, or electric going to a light bulb or something that goes through the wires up to the light bulb to provide everything so it can go through there and make it work. Right? And other things. All kinds of stuff, okay? Just like that. <coughs> Father God, let your spirit, the rhetoric from your logos, your thought processes, your spiritual word, flow through me. Huh? As like conduit. Let me be a conduit for you. Take out... All the resistance of my old ego thinking, and me, myself, and I, from my seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell, from my speech, from my everything, replace all this dark stuff in each thought process with your light. Increase it 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. That's going to require much calamities, trials, tribulation, huh? The lips that's in the world there must be in the world this orderly arrangement and it's talking about in here in the holy of holies not out here that's a cosmos the whole universe but we're talking about more importantly in here seek ye first in time place and order of importance the kingdom of god in here huh then the kingdom of god behold the kingdom of god is within you Right in here, in your mind, not your brain, not your heart, your blood pump. No, 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 those are physical, tangible things. It says an evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign. Something tangible, so some man they can just prove with physical means. God doesn't always give you that way. This is done in secret, in your secret place. <laughs> in your closet, if you will. Hmm? That's where your prayers are, in your closet. Huh? Wow, behold, be all, be in all, be amazed. Oh my goodness, Father God, the kingdom of God, the right to rule in your life, to get, gain that charm to love you as you first loved me, little bit by little bit by little bit, is within me, within us. Oh, you're come, you're revealing yourself in us, you're returning in our in your clouds. As we're overcoming, 
and we're coming on up. Boom, da ba ba. Hmm? Now, <coughs> use me as a conduit for your word in me, and then let it reflect out as I'm living in, as I'm existing, existing, existing in you, in that land of Goshen, drawing near to God. Let it reflect out the grace. Huh? What is that, charis? The corner of the Greek word, C-H-A-R-I-S. The divine influence, God's influence, in your heart, in your mind, in those thought processes, and it's reflection out into your lifestyle. And it's always accompanied, accompanied with much gratitude, increasingly great gratitude. That's your exceeding great reward. That is your gospel, your good news in Christ. Just like the Israelites in Egypt, huh? With all the plagues going around. As long as they were in this land of Goshen, and did what God wanted them to do, God's will. Those plagues didn't bother them. Out there killing, doing all kinds of stuff, locusts, all kinds of stuff. Huh? Didn't bother them. The ones in the world are thinking, getting their ass kicked. Bluntly, right? Hmm? Getting that beast nature kicked out of that dark, that dark thinking. Kicked out, get out. Huh? Father God's doing that for you. You're just embracing him as you're going in and focus a child of God. The right mindedness of God. Seek ye first, in time, place, and order of importance, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all this other stuff be taken care of for you, be added. Huh? All this dark thinking, get out, get out. You're spewing it out. I don't want that crap no more, daddy. Blech. I agree with you. Blech. I sixed up. Blech. Three times, three ages. Hmm? First day, second day, third day. Third day, you'll be perfected. The Feast of Oneness, Feast of Ingathering, Feast of Booths, Feast of Tabernacles. You're drawing into God. In this land of Goshen. Huh? Little bitty glimpses here of a picture. God's kicking the crap out of this wooden humanistic thinking. Chop it out, skim it out. We are skimming that stuff out that's down in there you thought was absolutely right. And that corner of mine had you bamboozled so bad that you, it was just like rubberized concrete. Everything you did to it, boing, boing, boing. Try to like take a hammer and try to bust it up. Boing, boing, boing. Come back and hit in the head. Whack, I'll hit, I'll do all my effort and might on this for my strength and my mind on this. Busting, bust right in the nose. Oh, oh, ball, about broke my jaw. It's a little funny picture there, but that's kind of. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, just a minute. <coughs> Try to bring it out and, and put a a wow, a behold, oh, I'd be totally amazed picture in your mind so it's easy to remember. Man, I won't forget that. Because a lot of like memory champions get at all these uh, <clears throat> events and stuff. And they give them something that's just crazy to try to remember. The order of a deck of cards. And they got to try to reproduce it. Well, they make a little pat that they're used to doing all the time, and they put some real odd things that represent different cards. They have this already worked out in their mind. And they paint that little pat, that picture in their mind. That's one way to do it. Do it many different ways to each their own. And they might put a big clown right there with a thing of daisies, or a big a clown holding a heart. Maybe holding six hearts right there, and that'd be a six of hearts. And they have me in order of a path that they do all the time. They're very familiar with, like, parking the car in the garage, turning off the lights. And all. They have different things. They put it in there. And then they go back and try to remember that picture in their mind. And then they can go back and order them. It takes a lot of practice to do that. But it's a lot easier than just rote memory. Trying to do it. You can only do so many items, like, at a time. 
you get up so far, man, you're like, I don't remember which one was next. I don't remember if I was in there or not. Was it? And as you get older, and with not much practice doing that, it goes sometimes doing like certain things I don't pay much attention to. I'll be going to do it. Forget what I'm doing while I'm going to do it. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to get a bowl of honey nut Cheerios, wasn't I? Or no, I was, was I going to go feed the cat? What was I doing? Get me some water? Hmm. I had to ask my wife. <laughs> I think it was yesterday. Just something that I just like nonchalantly. Hmm. But the important things of God, by His grace, man, uh, when it's flowing, that rhetoric's flowing, it's just bam, bam, bam. Huh? When I do miss it a little bit, and I'll say it on here, I usually go check it. And I might be a verse or two off. I just have a little brain fart. Bam, right back on it. <clears throat> These things are all accumulating and copulating, right? That word they use is and. Okay, we'll get that later. Okay, no. And then there's, uh, how do they pronounce this in this word they translate as this? 5129, this word, okay? Strong's G, 5129, Tuto. Tuto, okay. Tuto. Now that's a pronoun. Hutos. Haute. Tutor. Okay, I have to let it go through this thing. <laughs> That's a lot of the, the, like, words and stuff in there. Okay, now online, biblical, the etymology, the, uh, uh, well, hang on just a minute. Let's go to the, uh, uh, the online biblical. Uh, usage says to this one okay it's one ball of thinking that God's working on in your mind okay now <clears throat> let's go in the etymology of that word it's amazing and you're it should be getting pretty familiar with these two words that are making up this compound word this is a compound word this tuto okay and this compound word is from um, 3588, that's ha, okay, that's that ball of thinking of your mind, hang on, I'll have it pronounce it, let me, hang on, hang on, let me first go, let's see, let me get to, a, yeah, actually it goes to, uh, who toss first, 3788, Strong's G, 3778, Hutas. 3778, Hutas. Okay. And that's just saying, these are this. Still kind of obscure. What are you talking about? Well, this ball. Each ball and the thing that God's working on, and then he blows it up, and it's each spot. And that trying to give him an opportunity to replace that dark dot pixel out of that with the light. And he's bringing it. One to two to four to eight, right? At, but at, you got to qualify with him, do it his way. Huh? He gets the increase. You can't say, I do had about enough of this shit. Right? This crap sucks. Huh? This correction, I can't take it no more. God says, oh yeah, you can. I'm just putting my argument, my case up there, my explanation, the intensity required by God. To cause you to give up on this stuff and really be giving up. Not just suppress it or just try to be a good boy or a good girl. Huh? Mm mm. This is taking stuff out permanently. This little bitty dots. Spots. Hmm? And this spot may be growing each time from one to two to four. It's just growing. Just first time you're flipping on top as one. Then the second time. Through to the first power, you got two of them, so you gained one. Huh? Two minus one. Okay, then you gain two to the second power, you get four. You gain three more. Huh? And then to eight, there's another four. And then 16, there's an eight. It's double the amounts you're gaining. So the spots that he's offered to chain 
exchange the dark, your ignorance, your dumbass thinking, your old shitter's union hat for the mind of Christ a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and each thought process, he's baptizing you, totally immersing you and submerging you in this bitter vinegar solution. It's bitter, bitter to your old carnal mind, your non-spiritual ways, to cause you to give up on that crap. Huh? And it's giving you the opportunity. Here, be reasonable, sit my way, come up higher. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take a, go a little bit different. I mean, this it's creating lift in aeronautics, like flying an airplane and different things. Uh, we're talking about the lift, okay? Of like a plane wing, airplane wing, okay? When the air comes, part of it, the air goes over that wing, part of it goes under the wing, right? Well, lower pressure air, like a lower way of thinking, it's separating. <clears throat> like a sword, the word of God is sharper than any two edged sword, right? It's dividing the sunder. Well, this thing's separating the spirit from the soulish, right? That soulish thinking's the cold air, huh? Going underneath that wing, <coughs> okay? It's got a short, like a shorter distance. Going down the crapper, pop to bay, right? And then it's got that one on top, it's a longer. And it's creating a higher, like a... A higher, hotter air. It's like going up over top of it. Right down. More righteousness of God. So, when it's doing this, this is going higher. And the bottom is this way. It's creating like a lift. What they call a lift. And it's causing it to raise up. And there's all kinds of, of adjustments. I don't understand all of them. Probably, I haven't studied enough in them. But, they adjust that. So that it causes it to lift, much like a dust devil. Whenever you agree with God, the hotter it's heating up, intensity, the argument, the explanation heats up, and it starts causing the air around us. This little atmospheric air, that cold, non-spiritual thinking, it's bitter to it, and it's getting hot. It's starting to vibrate, like the atoms in it, the molecules are starting. To it's heating up and it's causing it to lift up. Well, then all the cold air is coming in, like in a dust tail, and it's causing it to swirl. Right? And so you got the cold air in the bottom and the hot air is rising. Speaking of coming up to God's superior way of thinking, His love, beyond the mere description of words, and that cold air is being sucked in. So if God be lifted up, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all that humanistic thinking. To me, right back in, and that's why right him going into, huh? Coming from all this cold air stuff, coming up to and into, huh? Like this meta, meta, right? No chance like that, like in the midst of or amid. That's much more, okay? Coming up and then going all the way into in, and that's why right God, God's higher way of thinking, His superior way of love. You're gaining the ability to racham, to love God as he first loved you. And God love, God's love, that child, is a love that's beyond the mere description of words. Beyond anything you ever knew. It's the strongest thing. Hmm? It's like uniting all those four um, forces in the natural. The gravity, and then all this... Uh, Strong and weak nuclear force, and then the electromagnetic force. Ignite them. Reunite, reignite, reuniting them. <laughs> reunited them all back in the one. Just like they got, uh, uh, they could be right on this Big Bang stuff, where it's all coming down to this primordial, primordial atom, and all that stuff's in there at one. Laws of physics, laws of the natural way of thinking is broke down. It's resting and relying in God, in God, and that's why in God, in union with God. Huh? It's in these three ages. This day, this Olam.
We're going to do night to day, night to day. It's all matching perfectly. If it doesn't, then there's something messed up with the way you're thinking about it, not the way God's thinking about it. <laughs> God, when that rhetoric of God is flowing like this electricity through a conduit, hmm, anything that's causing it to be a skewed, and off the mark, missing the mark, is not because God's wrong. It's because your way of thinking about it is wrong. Remember, there's a dichotomy in this thing. Like going up, green light in God, or going down, red light in God. Hmm. Shouldn't have to go into all the explanation. Should be if you've been watching these long enough. Red light and green light should be getting pretty familiar terms. So we can pat this stuff down so we can go on to greater things, greater ways of understanding this stuff. Okay? So I don't have to spend a half hour and never get nothing done. Hmm? Be stuck. And we're going to go on. I'm trying to show you. I want God to give me all that he can. Take out that garbage crap. Let go of it. Shall I cut up this stuff out for you, my child? That's what God said. Or shall I skim off this really hard fellow ground that's like rubberized concrete that you keep smacking hurting yourself with? Because you're trying to suppress it. You're trying to, you're believing that those ites, that parasite, independent of me, of God. Hmm. This Jebusite saying, do, 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 do it this way, do it this Keep that poo-poo in your... In your mind, in your heart, in your thinking process. Don't you dare get rid of that darkness. We really need it. Oh, I called it darkness. That's, oh, that's what it was. That is what it is. Get rid of that. Die to yourself. The eye, the ego must decrease. The God must increase, right? Like John 3.30. Right? All right. Now, <clears throat> and it's tuto. <clears throat> it's a pronoun. And it's much more than to this one. Okay? Alright. And that who toss. These are this. Okay? It's more than that. He, she, or it. And it's often used repeatedly. It's talking about it's being, you're bad, being baptized. In these storms of your life. Pressures and stuff. By, and in fire. By the Holy Spirit and in fire. He's purifying you. God is. Giving you an opportunity. God is faithful to do this. <laughs> Just your interpretation of it, our interpretation of it. It's like, oh, God, why did you do this to me for? Well, I give you this better thing to get to uh, cause you to give up and see that, see, hear, taste, touch, and smell that this crap is killing your ass. It's just daggone poison to you. It's filthy mistress stinking rags. The heart of man is desperately wicked and evil above all things. Huh? It's all known for winning Christ. So that you'll turn from that and seek first the kingdom of God with everything you got. And then I can give the increase to you. Change some of them pixels of dark into light. Booyah, baby! Right? Again and again and again, repeatedly dipping you in this stuff. Changing it up. Come on up, boom, papa. Back into God. Right? All right. No, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, I pretty much said that. <laughs> I had notes there, but this guy just took over rhetoric. Don't get in the way, Lloyd. Just kill, let it go. All right? I tell myself. That. Okay, now this who toss. This is amazing. Just getting down more in the base, the root, down to the roots. Of this plant, this tuta, tuto, I mean. This word they translate is this. You can just flow right over that. That's just a bug word, man. It don't really mean nothing. That's what your carnal mind would tell you. That's insignificant. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Let's look at this. Let's take a little magnifying glass because God definitely will. God's going to see more. Let's listen to that voice. That seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell, the spirit, that still small voice of God within you, within your mind. Hmm? Huh? Right? 
that we can agree with God, we can resonate in your life, and you can agree with God and gain his ability that you never could overcome before. Come up over this this big limb. It's way up over the water. Grab onto this rope that I'm lowering to you. Come up there, and I'll love you over that and put you in in the spring-fed water where God does the real work. And you got to work out your own salvation deliverance. Sozo. Not in fear and trembling, but respect, honor. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You, you're the greatest father. Oh. Giving him fealty. Okay? Huh? Oh, my goodness, father. Yes, sir. You are the greatest. Huh? My children hear my voice, and the voice of another, they will not listen to. Now, <clears> that's <throat> word hutas. K-H-O-Y-T-O-S. 37 and 78, which is in the etymology of this 5129, tuto, right? Now, this word is the compound word I was talking about. <clears throat> this word comes from 3588, ha, that's that ball of thinking of the mind, right? Right where God's working. And alt, uh, altos, A-U-T-O-S, 846, that's that storm, right? Like a dust devil, huh? God's offering you a way to come from this bottom up, right, from Altos, A-Air, 109. That's that little storm. Right? That's what you need. So it's the dust devils and that ball of thinking. Don't go down the drain. Boom. Like a video game. You lose. Boom. <laughs> You, you lose, better try it again. It's going to be twice as hard next time. I'm going to increase the level of difficulty. And then after a while, you get so callous. Man, I'm tired of this. You can't take the truth then. Don't let that happen to you. Huh? No, you got a whole myriad of thinking. The Spirit of God is in you at whatever level God's got to brought, brought it up to. Huh? Whatever level He's bringing. Yeah, it's permanent increases. Don't keep burying it, though, in your bullshit thinking. Worthless and detestable, dark matter, dark energy crap. It just separates and hides God's truth from you. Throw the bullshit flag on it. Man, it's bullshit. Take off that union hat of that old carnal mind. That shitter's union hat. Mm, crap. Uh, vomit that crap out. Uh, much as it requires. By God. Till he says okay. Hmm? And come back to God. Put on the right mindedness of God. Put on. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Put on the union hat of God. Come back in the end. That's why in God. That's where your focus is. You're not gonna be able to do it just perfectly the first time. You gotta go, 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 baby, go, baby, go, right? So in this tuto, where they translate is this, it's all the way down there, down to this 3588 ha, and 846, and the root of that is 109, a air, or a air, a e r, and it's that uh, he, she, or it, that ball thinking. In that baffling, confusing wind, blah, and it's offering you a way to come from that lower red, endemic, atmospheric region up to his higher way. Just like a dust level. Huh? Blah. Spin her on up there. Huh? All right? All right. Thank you. I love you. If you, you uh, enjoy these, these are helping you. And in these tough times, listen to them. Remind yourself so you can help focus. I do that myself. My wife does that. Oh, my goodness. Refocus. Huh? Huh? All right. Thank you, Lord. Use me as a conduit to bring forth your rhetoric, your word, your logos, your debar. In the Old Testament. It's, it's, that's a word, his thought processes. Okay? Alright, now this was a Spiritual Toolbox. If you like these, hit like and subscribe. Comment. Be uplifting. Okay? Let me know if these are helping you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I love you.
Bye-bye.